All right, everyone, welcome back. And the reason, one of the reasons, if you've noticed uh, over the last couple of videos, we're on the three-day chart now. Just wanted to get a little bit of a macro perspective on where these things are headed. Uh, just due to the fact that Bitcoin recently took out the low, it's obvious we're in a four-year cycle, so we're not going up anytime soon. You may have little relief rallies and little pumps up, but it, we're not going up up for a while. So I think it's a good idea to look at lower price targets or, or you know, just where the price is heading on certain assets. Uh, uh, so with that being said, looking at AMP here, you know, we can get better dollar cost average prices to, to buy these things at discount. Uh, because if you do believe in different projects, Matic, AMP, Solana, whatever it is, I know, you know, a lot of these are selling off right now. Um, you know, whatever survives this bear market, uh, whatever you believe in for the long term, you know, you got to have patience. Um, and to dollar cost average into these things, this is where the money is going to be made uh, when we finally are in a bull run. So with that said, looking at AMP here, uh, and AMP on the three-day chart here recently broke through the 1618 here at 004. Uh, the only fib I could draw was from here to here, to this little, uh, I guess you call that a scam wick, that big-ass green wick there. Uh, so we did come down to tag the 618 or the 1618 rather at 004 quickly fell below it uh there is some selling pressure coming in right now you are on the rsi here i don't know why that's so far down you are way down here you've been here for a while in the oversold area so there's no signs of this thing going up at all you can see this thing's in a massive downtrend here uh, it's just like a slide um, so what to watch for is the lower price targets to dollar cost average in of course not financial advice uh, so just have patience for these targets to get hit like I said we could have little bounce little relief rallies and then we'll come back down you know kind of kind of like this it goes down has a scan wick up goes down scan wick up comes right back down so just kind of watch that you know if you dollar cost average in you know, you know, have a big old wick up back up here to 0040, you know, take a little profit out and then invest it back in when it comes back down. Uh, but like I said, as of now, this thing's melting away, selling pressure coming in. Uh, it's not, it's just kind of very bearish on the RSI down there. So it's just going down. It looks like it wants to go down further. The Heikinashi candles are telling me this downtrend wants to continue. So what to watch for without making this one on amp too long. You are at 0035 at the moment, so your next price, your next target is 0025. So you're looking at another 30% down on AMP. So just watch 0025 to get hit, and if you don't bounce there or consolidate and hold that level, the 3618 is next at 0015 for a 56.5% drop. So just kind of watch those prices. 004 already broke, so 0025 is next and then 0015 so other than that really not much else to say you can clearly see if this thing for some reason just starts getting bought back up uh, you need to get back over 004 and we'll go ahead and just measure that really fast for anybody looking uh, at where it could potentially go if it starts moving higher so a 14% move up here to get back over your resistance at 004 and then the bottom of this fib here is 0053 for a 54% move. So those are your two prices to watch if it does start moving back higher. Uh, but like I said, it, everything's pointing to lower price targets. So just watch these prices as it goes down. And like I said, not financial advice, but you know, if you believe in AMP for the long run, just have patience and just dollar cost average in and prepare yourself for the next bull run. So with that being said, none of this is financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.